to be able to come here and undertake something that's, that's quite sort of outside of what we'd normally get to do and quite challenging I think is going to be very rewarding. The biggest thing for me was the experience, getting uh, experience with people with different disciplines. I'm not really sure exactly what is out there for me and I'm hoping to uh, get that out of this experience. Uh, so the project that we're looking at is focusing on climate change impacts on water resources in Ho Chi Minh City and we're looking to make recommendations for adaptations in new development areas. How do we make that sustainable? How people dispose of their waste and also changing their perspective on what water they can use and what are different uses they can use for water. So we aim to get a lot of our information when we're conducting interviews with professionals from the industry as well as people from universities and government and local authorities so that'll be our major source of information. The week's going to be pretty full so lots of transfers between buildings and then presentations go for a couple of hours. I guess the major benefit to the project being able to come here to Vietnam is just to get that real hands-on experience, um, talking to people, meeting people, seeing the application of what you're researching and hopefully having a finished product like if we can provide some sort of valuable insights that could be used in the future would be like a really big achievement I think for all of us. Yes, yeah, so we're in our um, second week now of the project where we're required to start collating and putting together all the information that we've gathered over the last week and through our, our research over the course of the project. We can actually start taking some action on the report and it's not just absorbing, absorbing, but it's also the part where we really have to work hard and work well together. Um, when it's coming down to the crunch now, we have to sort of make decisions and people that are, are given a job to do, there should be an element of trust that they're going to be able to do it. Being quite organised is a challenge. <laughs> um, the report, it only has to be in draft form, which is very comforting because, yeah, I definitely don't think we'll have the whole thing done, but I think that we'll have some kind of structure to it and we'll know where we have to, what we have to do when we get back to Melbourne. So tomorrow the presentation will be in front of all of the officials we met in the first week and it's just a brief overview of how our report's shaping up and what recommendations we will make. I was a bit frustrated the first week just because we kept getting information which kind of painted a fairly bad picture for Vietnam in like 10 years or 20 years from now. From all the information we've gathered about Ho Chi Minh and the issues they face, to actually get out into the field and, and see that firsthand. And we're in that really green and peaceful area. But at the same time, you could see a lot of rubbish floating down the river as well. And it was, it was, it's sad to, it's sad to see. So I sat there and I was very keen to get into the project. And then I found myself on the third, at the end of the third day, just thinking, wow can we help this or can we actually design a solution for these people? There was certainly a deflation in the sense, the more, you, the more you looked into it and thought about it, the less you were probably able to do. There's ways to make changes for social scientists, environmental scientists, environmental engineers, and, but in terms of the future, I definitely think there's hope. It is quite depressing because you learn about all these issues and how hard it is to change, but being here, 
we're making a small difference and it makes it makes me feel really good. <laughs> yeah.